YouTube. And let's see. Mr. Swords, you've had me before. Uh, you've had me for 111. That's right. Okay. And Mr. Barnes, you had me for 111. I don't think anybody else in here has had me. How about Pendleton? Any of y'all had me before? Okay, so y'all just SOL. Y'all don't have anybody to ask. But if you if you need to ask somebody, I don't know, just find somebody or go to Rape My Professor, I guess. I'm scared to look at Rape My Professor. But anyway, Mr. Swords will tell the Easley campus what kind of a teacher I am. And Mr. Barnes, you can tell these students outside of class what kind of teacher I am. But uh, I'm pretty laid back. I'm very, very reciprocating. If you disrespect me, I'll pretty much disrespect you. If you treat me with professionalism, I'll treat you with professionalism. I usually don't have any trouble with that um, because, like I say, not many people that disrupt class take calculus one, two, and three. So I usually don't have to worry about that. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the I've sent out the handouts. I think I sent out like five or six of them. Um, I sent out PDFs. I sent out Word Word documents, and I also put them right here on the website. So that way you don't have the excuse, oh, I couldn't pull them up, or I didn't get the email. So that takes care of that excuse. So when you go to web, uh, not web assign. Thank God. Thank. Thank God y'all don't have WebAssign, okay? Um, we just have switched over from WebAssign to MyLabs Plus, and it's great because WebAssign sucks. If you ever had calculus in WebAssign, you know how much it sucks. And it's like a sundial compared to a Rolex, where MyLabs Plus is a Rolex, WebAssign is a sundial. And it's just, it's just not even worth using. But when you go to My Labs Plus, if you go over to the second, over to, to the second, it says My, Math 140 Syllabus and Handouts. It's got everything there. There's the syllabus. And I don't go over the syllabus because it's nothing but bureaucracy. The only reason it's written, it's not written for the students, it's written for the people in Columbia. So half the time you don't understand what it's talking about. So the best thing to go by is this guy right here, the outline. Now that is the most important page in this unit, I mean in this class. Make sure you put that in your notebook. You need to print that out and you need to put it in your notebook. Why? If you miss a day, if you miss a day, and I'm going over 2.1 this class, and you miss next class, then you know I probably covered 2.2. So it tells you what I covered. All right. You really don't need that because the videos tell you what I cover. All right. What else does it do? It also tells you. It also tells you when we're having a what? A test. Okay. That's a bonus question. When are you have? When do you have a test? When you get to the last section of the unit. Okay. So when we get to 3.1 and 3.2, I'm going to start talking about a test, and I'll pull up the test in class. We're going to go over it. Is it going to be the same test? No, I'm not stupid. I'm not going to give you the same exact test that I show you in class. Okay, but it will show you what I cover. It will show you how it works. Um, the unit test, I give you a week. Well, summertime, I give you four days. I give you four days to take the test. Usually, I give you a week, and you may see a bonus question on there that says, uh, how much I usually give students in the spring and fall, I usually give you a week. But in the summer, I give you four days. But if you see that bonus question, just say a week. All right? Uh, I give you three attempts on regular tests and two attempts on the final. And I take the higher of the what? Of the attempts. The highest grade of the attempts. So if you take if you take the first test, the you take, and it just says first attempt. You take the first attempt and you make a 98, and you are satisfied with the 98, then you don't need to take the second and third. You'll get a zero for the second, a zero for the third, and My Labs Plus will take the 98 and drop the zero. Everybody with me? Takes the higher of the three. Um, 
So that's what I do with the test. Usually the tests are very, they come out of the homework. I, I click and drag from the homework and it's pretty self-explanatory. One of the things you'll find out about me as a teacher is I'm pretty straightforward. I don't pull any low punches. And if you come to class and you work and you do the homework, you'll pass my class. Now, I will tell you this, a lot of people suck at calculus. Do you know one of the biggest reasons people suck at calculus? Anybody want to take a guess? Suck at algebra. How'd you know that? You must have had a good algebra teacher. All right? The reason people suck at calculus is because calculus is 90% what? Algebra. So, and well, I'd say 80% algebra, 10% trig, and 10% calculus. Okay? So, if you suck at calculus, it's pretty much you suck at algebra. So, I've, I'm going to spend three sections. Uh, this is this I didn't write this. This is written by the department. 1.3 and 1.4. But I've got a homework that I'm working on, and I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, hold on a second. Oh, really? Going to log me out just as soon as I get on there? Uh, Y'all know how happy this makes me not have to deal with web assign. Oh. It's awful. But go to assignments. And, okay, it's already, there it is. Hubert's Algebra Review. Now, yeah, you're going to have a heart attack. Why? Because there's 60 problems on there. Well, I want you to pass calculus. I don't want you to struggle with it, okay? And I'm going to make sure you know the algebra. So you might as well, it's not assigned yet because I can't get it to cross over to the other classes. i got to... I just wrote them an email. So as far as assignments go, you need to be working on those first two assignments, which are called Review Functions 1.1 and Review Functions 1.2. That's what you need to be working on. If you, you don't have to work on anything after today because we, we're not going over math right now. When I start going over math, then we'll worry about that. For those of you hammies, any, any hammies in here? Hammy the squirrel, jump, jumping all around like a ping pong ball. When's homework due? When's homework due? When's test due? When's test due? Okay, you need some medication and you need to be quiet in my class, okay? Because I do not like you. All right, so if you're a hammy, everybody should be listening to me and not playing on your... That's so disrespectful. Put the phones away, please. Yeah, that means everybody. Put the phones away. Remind me when you come up to me and ask me a question, I'm going to start playing with my phone. What is that? Come on, I'm asking you a question. What is that if I start playing on my phone when you ask me a question? What is that? Disrespectful. It's disrespectful. So what is it when you do it to me? Come on, spit it out. It's disrespectful. Okay? Just because I'm 30 miles away or 15 miles away don't mean I can see you playing on your phone. People like that need medication too. You need medication if you can't take 30, 45 minutes without playing on your phone. All right, and don't 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 say, oh, he's picking on me. It was two people playing on their phone while I was talking. Two people. So don't say I was picking on you. There was two people I was picking on. All right, now there's the review functions. You're gonna have a third, and here is the other. These all of these sections right here is what we're gonna be working on the next week, or not next couple of weeks. Okay, a lot of it is review. A lot of it is algebra-based review. So don't have a conniption because there's like eight sections of homework. Some of you are gonna be able to go through it pretty fast. All right, but I will cover it section by section. All right, but let's go back to the syllabus and handout. Again, the syllabus is not that big of a deal. The syllabus, if you can read it, great. You might be a lawyer one day. 
But there it is. The outline is the second most important. That is what you need to put in your notebook. Okay? And there's four units. Every two and a half weeks, we're going to be cranking out a test. How did I get two and a half weeks? Ten weeks divided by four is two and a half weeks. So that's how you get, that's how you know how much time we're going to spend on what. Hubert's Info. That's a little bit about me. I don't spend a lot of time going over it, especially during the summer, because I don't need to. The best way to contact me is via my cell phone or my email address here at Tri-County. If you call my office, you're going to call and call and call, because usually I stay down here in this, office, in this room right here, or I'm in a meeting, or I'm not on campus. So if you want to contact me, you contact me via email, hmcclure at tctc.edu. That bell south, I don't even check it anymore. Um, tctc.edu or my cell phone. Okay, it comes, both of those come to my cell phone. There is directions to my office or I'm in this room right here, AC 137. Okay, so that's how, that's where I'm at. That's how directions to my office and you also need to put AC 137. Okay, because if I'm not in AC 211, I'm in AC 137, which is this classroom right here. Okay, there's a little bit about me. You read it if you want to, I don't care. There's my office hours. That tells you where I'm at. Now, everybody tell me what semester this is. It's summer, so I'm not gonna be in my office all day, all right? Usually, people don't need me in office hours because the way I do my office hours, I do my office hours in class, okay? So, I might be here in the afternoons on Monday and Wednesday, but chances are I'll probably, you know, be here about one or two o'clock, something like that. But on Tuesday and Thursday, I'm teaching another class at 12 o'clock, so I'll probably be here around 10 or 11. Everybody with me? Unless somebody needs me to come before then. So there's when I when can be in my office, okay? I'm not going to say it's summer semester, so I'm just going to say can be in my office. All right, class courtesies. And this is something I do in every one of my classes, so please, this is a summer class and this is a calculus class, so I don't think I'll have to worry too much about these things. I'm 53 years old and I have been teaching for over 20 something years, since 1995, you do the math. You know how many people I've had to throw out of my class? Let's say 20, let's say 20 years. 20 years, usually I have 300 students. 300 students, that's, yeah, yeah, 20 years. 300 students a year, 6,000 students, something like that. You know how many I've had to throw out? Three. Three people, and they were all males. They had overcompensation issues, I think, I don't know. But they, I don't know what it was. They had, they had issues. You know, smokestacks on the pickup truck issues, sunglasses inside issues. You know what I'm talking about. They had those those issues. And I had to deal with those three out of 6,000 plus students. So the reason I'm telling you this, especially at Pendleton campus, Pendleton campus, I am usually pretty laid back. Okay? I don't have troubles like that. The only time I have troubles like that is not because I create them. Usually the students create them. Okay, so try not to create those problems. And you might think that this is my number one pet peeve. It's not, it's all, it's all teachers' pet peeves. And a lot of people say, well, why do they go so crazy? Because it's rude. I guarantee you, if I was to use my phone, I have one right here. I guarantee you, if I was to use my phone when you were coming up to me asking me a homework question, it wouldn't last two minutes. You would say, are you going to listen to me or are you going to play on that phone? It would aggravate you to death if you came up to me and asked me two or three questions about homework, and every time you talked, I picked up my phone and was texting on it. It would infuriate you. And don't say it wouldn't because you're lying. Okay? 
Some of you go off on your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your wife or your significant other whenever they talk, whenever they're on the phone and they're, you're trying to talk to them and you get mad at them. So don't sit there and say that teachers overreact. Some do. I just call you out. First thing I do is I warn you. I say, remember what I said about cell phones? I warn you. The second time you do it, I'm going to call you out. Third time you do it, I'm going to ask you to leave. And then you're going to have to go through the dean and the process of all that to get back into my classroom. It's called, it's called professionalism and respect. I don't do this while you're asking me questions or talking to me. And if I don't do it to you, you shouldn't what? Come on. Y'all can speak. Do it to you. You shouldn't do it to me. Exactly. Okay? So that's all I ask. And that takes care of the cell phones. Now, Hubert, what if I, you know, you have lives. You get up and you what? You walk out in the hallway. You will see me do that. When my son calls and my daughter calls, my daughter is a junior at Clemson. I'm sorry, Clemson. And my son is in junior high school. Okay? If those two numbers come up, I know something is what? Wrong. Wrong. So I will take it and I will go into the hallway and I'll say, excuse me, I have to answer this. Same thing with the text. I will not do it in here or I'll say, hold on a second, this is a student, I've got to, or hold on a minute, this is, I'll say something which says, okay, you can stand by, goof off for a few seconds while I do this. Okay? Same thing with you. If your daughter, son, sibling, parent calls, work, and you have to answer it. You get up, you walk outside in the hallway, and you answer it. If you can't do that, then there's 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 some issues that you need to address. Okay? And you can read the rest. It tells you what I like. It tells you what I don't like. It tells you what gets on my nerves. Know-it-alls really get on my nerves. I'm not even going to talk about them. They get on my nerves. They just make me mad, so I'm not going to talk about them. All right, Skype for business. Is Skype the same as Skype for business? No. Hail to the no. Exactly. No, it is not. <laughs> so if you call me up and say, Hubert, I'm at da-da-da, I need to Skype in, and I pull your name up, and you don't show up, then that means you're using Skype and not Skype for business, and you didn't follow the directions on the um, handout. That's why I was so amazed when Miss Wilson, Miss Wilson, when did you, uh, when did you email me this morning? Uh, right when I got at work, so probably around 8:30 or 9. 8:30, and she she downloaded this and she got on and she followed the directions and she texted me right before class and there was no problems whatsoever. It's amazing. It's amazing what happens when you read directions versus. Somebody texted me five, five minutes before class. Okay, my name is Bernard Smith, and I'm going to text, I'm going to Skype in. I pull up Bernard Smith, not online. When it says not online, that tells me they're using Skype and not Skype for business. So do I reply? No. Do I address any of his questions after that point? No, because he did not what? He did not follow the directions. Okay? I do not like, the one thing that I do not like worse than, worse than cell phones is I cannot stand to repeat myself. And when I put something on a handout, if I have to tell you again, I am repeating myself and that I won't answer. Mr. Swords will tell you, so, so will last name Barnes, Mr. Barnes. Mr. Barnes will tell you. If you ask me a question that I have already went over, I'll say, I have no idea. Or if you email me and say, how do I get on Skype? I'll email, I won't even reply back with an email. Okay? Because I've already given you that information. There it is. How to Skype into Hubert's class. Load Skype for business, Google, Office Portal. Type in TCTC credentials. Miss, Miss, Miss Wilson, did you run into any problems? No, sir. It's a miracle. 
We all know that Ms. Wilson is gifted and talented now because some of y'all take two or three days to find out how to download Skype for Business. And I'm not talking about y'all in here. When I say y'all, I mean what? All students. Oh, gosh, some of y'all can break an anvil with a banana. Uh, I can't, uh, I can't find, uh, Google. I'm serious. I'm serious. And they take an online classes too. And they don't, can't even find how to find, it, it blows my mind. Anyway, that's what you do. Registering on to My Labs Plus, you should be able to get onto that without any problem because you're already in it. All you got to do is go through, now we're going to talk about that in a minute because Blackboard sucks, okay? Blackboard is, we're going to talk about that in just a minute, all right? YouTube. Go to YouTube. You pull up Hubert McClure. You go click on the pink shirt and go to playlist. And your class will be called Math 140 Summer 2018-30. Okay? What do you look at if you want to... Go ahead, but then you go down and you find my last Math 140. I don't know when was the last time I taught it. It's been a while. I'm looking. Anybody see Math 140? Well, there it is. Fall 2016. It's been a couple of years since I've taught it. Okay. So that's where, that's where you would look if you want to see how I teach Math 140. But I guarantee you the first and second day hasn't changed. First day, second day. There's the web sign. Thank God we don't have web sign. An hour and a half later. And there is. The I can't stand to hear myself talk. See, I'm going over the same stuff. So if you miss anything, you can go and, and there's... Some of the stuff, some of these handouts I quit going over because they're redundant. And it shows you how to go to YouTube and pull up. shows you how to do all that. So first and second day, you can go to that 140. But you will have a class today. I will start it, and I will load this video on it, and it will be called First Day Math 140, 2018-30. So you can go to it every day so nobody will have the excuse, oh, I don't know which... Please do not email me and say, or text me and say, what do we go over today in class? Will you get a response? No, because no, you go to YouTube and you pull it up. Okay? Again, I'm not saying y'all will. I'm telling you what students do. Okay? And I've been doing, and if you look that up, I've been videoing my classes for over six years. So you should be able to find anything that I've taught in the last six years. Let's see, when's, when's the last time? Where's the end? Okay, there's 2014, 2013. Yeah, six years. So I've been videoing. Some of these are on, like, camcorder in the middle of the room. That's how old they are. Okay. Yes, one day Tri-County Tech is going to get up to 2050. I think 2050 will get up with the program. Okay? We got some people don't even know. We got some teachers don't even know how to use PowerPoint. Yeah, that's sad. Teachers are to be versatile. Rate my professor. You can go there and see what your professors, you know, whether you should drop or not. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Great. Let's pull up somebody. Somebody got one. I do not pull up my mind up. I am scared to death to look at mine. So, um, somebody want to pull somebody up? Y'all don't have any other teachers that y'all want to look up? <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. When I get out of here, I go to accounting. Okay, who is it? Uh, Crawford. Crawford. Yeah. Last name Crawford? Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Crawford. Crawford. I don't see if Crawford. Crawford. Larry. Well, let's look. Let's do a search for Crawford. Yeah. He might be his first semester. Is there? He? Oh, he's only got two ratings, so he sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So he's only got two ratings, so he's either brand new 
or he don't tell his students about rape my professor. So, teach is great. Okay, now, if you read a evaluation and it's got cat spelled K-A-T, and there, like the possessive there is T-H-E-R-E, okay, you know not to take it very seriously, right? Because they don't even know how to do proper grammar. But if you got a good, good sentence and it says, you know, so you only got two to go by, bud. I would say he's probably okay, but anything below two, get the hell out of Dodge. Because I, I don't care how smart you think you are, if it's below a two, chances are you're going to have a hard semester. Serious. Somebody want to pull up another one? Okay, y'all know there's two things in my class that I have to have, okay? Well, that I need and you have to have. One, you have to have a sense of, what is it called? Sense of what? Humor, yeah. Y'all know what that is? <laughs> Nowadays, we don't have a sense of humor, but you have to have one in my class and you have to be interactive, all right? This tit on a bull ain't going to work. Okay, if you want to sit there like a tit on a bull and not say anything, that ain't going to work. Because I'll come in here and go over 15 sections a, an hour if you want to play that game. All right, so say something. I'm going to ask again. Is there anybody who wants to We'll do one more. Um, Professor Brown. Ma'am? Who? Okay. You're going to have to say that one. There's a reason she didn't say it. <laughs> what does it start with? Um, you can type E Y A B I. E? E Y. Y. E? A, yeah, it's that one. Okay. A, no, it's A. It's, yeah, that one. What do they teach? Um, math. Never heard of them. 4.3, you only got how many? Three? There's only three. Best professor I've had. Good job. Or he wrote it, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> really great man. Take him if you want to understand the material. Very interesting, despite the dull subject matter. Could listen to his accent all day. <laughs> okay, sound like there's some kind of a man crush going on. Um, hard, lots of work. But if you do all your work, let him see you are trying. You'll wind up with an A or B. I went from failing to midterm, so it sounds like a pretty good professor. But you only got three to go by. You should stay professor. One more. Anybody got one more? I love doing these. <laughs> but I will not pull mine up. You might have lost it. No, I will not pull mine up. No. Don't even know. There's three things I can't stand to do. Video myself, hear myself talk. And I will not look at my evaluations. So, no, I'll cover my ears up and walk out the door. Nobody wants to pull up one more. Yeah, look up, look up, Phil Smith. Oh gosh. I don't know. I don't think those are going to be good. Oh, he's got a 3.8, but he's only got 24 ratings. He's been here long as I have. We should look at a bad one, like the Stokes Susan, the one yeah. with like the, the brownie. Oh, they're funny. You ought to read some of them. They're hilarious. <laughs> this teacher sucks. <laughs> Good professor. He wrote that one. I'm not sure what people are complaining about. This guy was awesome. Uh, evidently, he's a pretty good teacher, but he's only got 24. He's been teaching here for like 50 years. So he should have like 500. Like I say, some teachers don't tell their students about it. Yeah. Probably for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> Intentional. Which one's you 2 point? Here's one. Yeah. 2.0. This is what you'll get if you get a 2.0. Okay. Yeah. She is a real... Okay. When in the South, when you see the word sweet, special, or unique, what's usually following it? But, but, <laughs> or however, if you're not from around here, it's however. However, she sucks. <laughs> this professor gives strange, 
analogies that are hard to follow. <laughs> Kathy was my biology lab. She helped me, blah, blah. Kathy always goes, okay, she's doing some lab. She is a very nice lady. There's that word again, nice. <laughs> but, <laughs> and not stay on topic. If you have a chance to withdraw from this class and take a different professor, do it. <laughs> okay, if you read about five or six of those, you need to get the hell out of Dodge. All right, but that's that's a good, it's kind of funny too. Do people ever get fired over these bad ratings or no? It's usually the valuations. If, if you get evaluations, real bad evaluations, if you're a part-timer, then you get called in, and if you're a full timer, you have to go to conferences and go to workshops to try to get, you know, so you don't suck as much. <laughs> that's that's pretty much what they do. I'm telling you. All right. One one teacher didn't even show up for the final exam last semester, and they're not back this semester. So, <laughs> you know, that happens. You just don't show up. Okay, let's go back to our. Okay, now I want everybody to make sure you see this now. What does that say? Academic calendar. So you don't come up and ask me, what day is this? What day is this? You click on it, you go down here, and there's all your dates. So make sure you make a note of that. Please put, there's two bonus questions that come from this. I got bonus questions that come from the syllabi and the handouts. 15. Don't I, Mr. Swords? Oh, yeah. Mr. Barnes, don't I have bonus questions? Mr. Barnes, he he don't he don't have a voice box. He don't talk. He don't say anything. He just nods. But anyway, he's nodding. I put at least 15 bonus questions on the test, and they all come from last day of class, final exam week. Those are two that come from here. <clears throat> what's my what's my Phone number and my email address. That's one. Do I get people, do they get them wrong? Yeah. Okay, so there's the handouts. The handouts can be found in two places. Your email and My Labs Plus. So that way if you didn't get them on your email, here they are. Anybody got any questions on the handouts or the syllabus? Okay, now, I'm gonna go back to the main menu and I'm going to show the announcement that I just put up today. Now, a lot of people say, well, why'd you put it up on, well, I did to try to get everybody to, <sighs> let me just go here and I'll show you. Blackboard sucks, okay? How many of you have ever used Blackboard and you go to do something and it be down for two days? Okay, it doesn't work very well. So I do not use Blackboard. Okay, I want everybody to hear that several times. I do not use Blackboard. I do not put anything on Blackboard. So, if you view, let's see, where is your announcement? There we go. Here's the announcement that I have. It says, if you are having trouble with My Labs Plus, please click on the following, it's supposed to say link. I don't know why I didn't know why the word processor must have changed it to line. Um, and there is the YouTube. So I want you to write this down. Blackboard to My Labs Plus Bridge Length Instructions. Write that down. Okay? That tells you this is what's going to happen if you pull up. You know, if you pull, it's usually, it's usually if you go through Blackboard or if your home computer has got all kinds of stuff on it. You'll have a well. I'll just I'll just let you listen to part of it, okay? Launch LTI top 10 launch button. While that might sound like what you want to do, do not click the launch button. It does not work and will just make the page freeze up. <laughs> After a moment, you will see the screen that says connecting to your course. With okay, does everybody see what this is doing? It'll do that forever. Okay, when you go through Blackboard, because Blackboard sucks. It will do this forever, and you have to go up here. See that little red thing up here in the address bar? And you have to right-click, and you have to allow pop-ups, and allow this, and allow cookies, and, and that's what this video shows you. 
You have to go through. They try to force everybody to, to do Blackboard, okay, but it doesn't work half the time. So go through and get to My Labs Plus the first time. Everybody with me? Go through Blackboard the first time. After that, you go to www.tctc.mylabsplus.com and you can log in through there and not even have to worry about Blackboard. So do my students have to use Blackboard, yes or no? No, they do not. Blackboard you can put on the back shelf. I don't want you to use Blackboard, okay, because half the time it's not up. So I want you to go on, go on the first time, go through, hit the little thing up here, right click, allow pop-ups, do whatever you need to do to get to My Labs Plus. Then after you get to My Labs Plus through Blackboard, use this button right here, TCTC. Now make sure you type it in right. This is what it'll look like. Let me get out of mine. TCTC.MyLabsPlus.com Okay, let me log out. That's what it'll look like. So what do you notice? It says what? Tri-County Tech. This is what students do that don't listen. They go to mylabsplus.com. And then they go and try to log on. They can't find the login button, but they try to log on. There it is, sign in. And then it's going to ask for an access code. And then the student's going to get all frustrated. What did the student do wrong? <coughs> the student didn't follow SA directions. Simple attitude directions. They didn't follow simple directions. Okay? Like I said, most of the time, the problem is not with the directions. The problem is with the student. So, tctc.mylabsplus.com. And when you get there, you type in whatever your email address here is at Tri-County Tech. Subtract the at tctc.edu, and then your T number or your password, and then you hit enter or sign in, and it'll take you to your classes. And that way, you don't have to go through Blackboard. And in my class, that's 100% of the time. Well, 99% of the time. I do want you to go through Blackboard to get to... So the best thing to do is to go through a lab. Easily, y'all have a computer lab? Go in there, take five minutes, <coughs> click on the My Labs Plus. You might have to go up here in the right-hand corner and do the right-click and, and then get to My Labs Plus. And once you get into My Labs Plus, then you can go through the login site. Everybody with me? Okay. Anybody got a question about that? Okay. Now, once you get into the login site, I've already, I've already got... Three homeworks ready, uh, two homeworks are ready, three. I've got to figure out why. I've got to see if they write me an email back. When you get there, you hit, and I should not have to explain this to y'all because, like I say, My Labs Plus is the Rolex. WebAssign sucks, so we don't have to deal with WebAssign, so it's pretty self-explanatory. The next button, Assignments. That's where your tests and your homework are. You hit Assignments, and here is the two that I want you to start working on whenever you want to. Now, you don't have to start working on it tonight. The hammies, I know you will. So we're going we're gonna to talk about what, what, how I use the homework. All right, so we're going to click on it. And I'm going to click on one that's short and sweet. Okay, state the domain of the function. Well, let's say, now, there are questions Unless you walk on water, there are going to be questions that you don't know the answer to. Okay? So, what do you do? Well, you click question help. Now, these things, these tools that we're using here are not to take the place of Hubert. They're to help you when you're at home doing homework. Help me solve this is a guided tutorial. Guided tutorial means it's going to ask you questions as you go through the problem. 
Some people can't stand it because they get tired of asking questions. Okay, they say, okay, what is blah, blah, blah. And then you say, I don't know. Or you say five. And then it says, no, you suck. And then it says, you need to answer it again. And then and that's a guy that's going to ask you questions as you do it. When do students need to know to do this learning style? When they've never seen the material before. Especially when we get to the calculus, that's when you might need to use Help Me Solve This. Okay? What is show me an example? That's for those people, if you're reviewing, just show me how to do it. Don't ask me no questions. Just show me how to do it. There. It just shows you how to do it. That's called a tutorial. There's a guided tutorial that asks you questions, and then there is a tutorial. Second thing, textbook for all you readers, okay? People who like to read. It'll take you to the textbook and show you, well, there it is. It'll show you where in the book, and it'll take you directly to it eventually. Okay, there it is. Composite functions, okay? I guess you have to, I don't know why it's not showing you. Well, it'll take you to that. I got I to gotta play. This is the first time, this is the first semester we've had it, so I got to play with it. But it'll take you to the textbook. It should where that is. The main thing I want to show you here, there might be a video. There might be a uh, graphic tutorial for the visual learners. But here is the one I want you to see. Ask my instructor. And this is what WebAssign didn't have. It had it, but it had it so backwards that you didn't want to use it. So you type in, I don't understand, I should quit school. And then I'll reply, yes, you should. It's very easy. Okay, <laughs> and you should. And, and the sense of humor, I'm not telling anybody to quit school. Please don't go to your prayer closet or your, what do you call it, your snowflake closet and say, oh, you hurt my feelings. Good gracious, get a life. Anyway, now watch what happens. I'm going to pull up the next day in class. I'm going to come in and I'm going to say, okay, let's see what kind of questions we got in <clears throat> Math 140. That's well, supposed to be already here. I hadn't hit yet. Let me see if it was taking so long. It's supposed to already have hit. Okay, for some reason it hadn't sent. It'll show up. Maybe Tri-County Tech is running behind a little bit. But it usually comes in just the second that you send it. And it'll send it in and it'll there'll be a hyperlink and I can pull that question up. Now, why is this important? Why is it not showing up? It never has done that before. Let me go back and do it again. Let me pull up. There it is. Ask my instructor. You suck as a teacher. That way I'll be able to tell which one's which. All right, there we go. Send. Okay, it was successfully sent. Okay, X, leave. Back to the email. Okay, it's not showing up. I don't know why. Let me go and make sure that I'm logged in. Because Tri-County Tech, they log you out every five seconds. Yep, that's it. T-Rex College. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Mayberry. How about Mayberry? Can I say Mayberry? Is that okay? Oh, this is a rough crowd. <laughs> Maybe that's why. You're still on another tab. Oh, I got another tab open. But it should go to the... There. Okay, well, it's not showing up for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe something's wrong. But it'll show up, and it'll go to my 140 folder, and I'll pull it up the next day, and we'll go over it. Now, when we get into the review, there's going to be some of y'all that's going to forget stuff. The review is the most important. Those three sections of homework, that one that I haven't loaded yet, and the two sections, that's the most important. If you can do all of that homework and not have questions, then you're okay for the calculus. 
okay? But if you're, make sure, if you have questions, you send them to me on that review, because if you don't, you're gonna suck at the rest of the semester. So make sure you send those questions. I don't know why it's not coming in. That don't, there they are. It went to the 103. I don't know why it went to the 103. It's supposed to go to the, okay, there it is. There's the two. Here's the one I sent. You suck as a teacher. That's the second one. And this one says, I don't understand. I should quit school. Okay, so I click on that, and it'll take me right to the problem. So I won't have to go look it up. And then we do x squared, negative x squared plus 81 is equal to 0. And then we say negative x squared is equal to negative 81. x is equal to positive or negative whatever. Okay? Positive negative what? 9? And you type it in and you feel good about yourself so you don't have to wear sunglasses inside. So we type in positive or negative more. We got positive or negative in here. Usually they're supposed to have positive or negative. I don't see one. You have to put it in a separate, separated by... Um, oh, of course. Negative 9, comma, positive 9. And if I don't put, if I don't put parentheses, I'll probably mark it wrong. Yeah. Parentheses. Hold on. Like I said, it's in damn rushes. What? By the space between time and time. You have to put an interval notation. Oh, uh, well. Oh, the domain. Okay. The domain, I'm sorry, I, I thought they were asking for the solutions. All right, the domain is negative infinity to negative 9, then union 9 to infinity. I'm not going to type all that in because I'm lazy, so. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what I typed in wrong. What did I type in wrong? Uh, you did, brackets. you had closed brackets and open Oh, uh, okay, yeah, because the domain, yeah, because of interval notation. I'm not in teacher mode right now, so I'm not. I'm not worried about that. The range, we'll have to look at the range on the graph. I'm not worried about that. But the whole point is that I go over the questions for you. That's why I don't have office hours. Why? Well, let me let me show you something. I give your online test. I give you all online tests, even though I get fussed at because I have a couple of people that want me to do busy work and I'm not going to do it. So online test, so that's two days per test that I don't have to do the busy work. Two days per test. So what's two days per four tests? That's eight days. And then I don't have to go by to see if you copied all the answers out of the back of the book with your homework, so I don't have to check homework. So I don't have to check homework. That saves about three days. So those days that I don't have to do busy work, I can be what? I can be teaching. What? Drinking. <laughs> yeah, I do drink. Yeah. I have a problem. Yeah. And that's the days I can be teaching. So those 11 days, I could be going over the questions that you have instead of you having to find me in my office. You see what I'm saying? It works. I've been teaching this way for, God, since 2003, 2002. It works. Okay? The only time it doesn't work is when some department head tries to intervene and tries to make me do something that I don't want to do. Okay? It works because the students have instant feedback on their test and their homework, and they have the avenue to ask me a question. And I spend anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour if I have to. But what is the saying about the squeaky door? The squeaky door gets the grease. If you sit there like a tit on a bull and you don't ask me questions and you don't send me questions, then what am I going to assume? Thank you. Articulate and volume. You got to have those... The, <laughs> I don't understand that crap. That mumble stuff, I don't understand it. So you got to articulate your words and volume. 
Okay. Pendleton, you're, what, 16, 20 miles away? And easily, you're 150 miles away, okay? So you're going to have to articulate, and you're going to have to use volume. Mr. Barnes, you're just going to nod, right? Yeah, Mr. Barnes, that's all. <laughs> Any questions so far? Now, remember, there's two, four, I gave you two numbers. Help desk for Tri-County Tech. 646-1779. If you have any issues with your Blackboard, if you have any issues with your username and password at Tri-County Tech, if you have anything to do with registration, anything to do with whatever at Tri-County Tech, that's the number you call. Don't get attitude with them because they're in IT. They got job security. They're not worried about having attitude with you. Okay? Call down there with attitude, you're going to get attitude back. The other number is the MyLabs Plus number, and it's a 188 number. Did anybody bring that email? Did anybody write that number down? Because I don't have it. It's in my phone. I have to look it up. Anybody got it? No, because half of you didn't need to read your freaking email. No, I don't read emails. 2000 freaking 19. <laughs> Hold on a second, I'm getting there. I hate when you're trying to use your phone and you can't remember how to use it. Y'all don't have that problem. Some of y'all twirl it around on your finger like a like a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Eight 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 three twelve ninety nine. Make sure you read the emails and you write those down because those are numbers that you might need. Um, oh no, Miss Wilson, are you there? Yeah, I got back in. How'd you get back in? Tell me how. Um, I switched over to my hotspot because the Wi-Fi I was using wasn't working, and then it just let me rejoin the screen. Oh, okay, good. I didn't region. know it did that. Good. No, you're supposed to fail at that, and then you're supposed to email me and said that it kicked you out and you just quit. That's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Some of y'all may be catching a little bit of the sarcasm, maybe just a little bit. Some of y'all that are, you know, alive. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got questions so far for me? TC's phone number is going to be an 864 area code, right? Yes. That's Track right. County, 864. Yes. Whoever mm -hmm. asked that, I'm sorry. Sometimes it's hard for me to see who's asking questions because they've got these, these TV monitors messed up. They're on top of each other. They're supposed to be side by side like it easily. They're supposed to be side by side so I can make the classrooms bigger. But when I make them bigger on these vertical, it screws it up and I can't see you as well. So that's why. I'm but I could do this. Hold on a second. Let me try this and this. Oh, that one's got to be turned on. Hold on a minute. I'm experimenting here. See, they, when they put them vertical like that, I told them, I said, don't put them vertical, and they didn't listen to me. There they are. They were Russian. <laughs> Damn Russians beat you up, throw you in a van, make you vote for somebody you don't want to vote for. <laughs> they, just, they just all into everything, I tell you. <laughs> No, it's not the Russians. They're, they're okay. It's the Nigerians. That's what it is. It's Nigerians. I'm sorry. They beat you up if you pay them enough. All right. Some of y'all have no earthly idea what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm one um, country away from Nigeria, so I'm like... I'm no, I'm talking about the two guys that beat up on the, on the actor that he paid them to beat them up. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'm making fun of people. I do that a lot. Okay. I don't make fun of people don't mean make fun of them. I make fun of people that do stupid stuff, okay? All right. Who's got a question for me? Um, I got a question. Um, I have 
question. All right. I'm a transient student. Transient. That means you live in a trailer or what? You live in a box <laughs> car. Let me tell you a story about that. They used to call transient student transient students, but it wasn't politically correct because it made the transient students feel like they were hobos. So they started calling, you know what they started calling them then? Special students. Well, guess how long that lasted? Yeah, that, that, they quit the special student like nine days after they started calling it. And then they called them a career development student. So where did you get transient from? Um, it's actually on the website. Is it on the website? Yeah. So they went back to transient. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. Transient for me just means uh, I'm taking... Uh, I'm transferring these to the other call. Okay, I wasn't sure. Yeah. I have no clue. All right, well. Um, You're not political. You're a racist, aren't you? Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm kidding. It's a joke, okay? <laughs> Go ahead. You're, you're a hobo and live in a trailer. Go ahead. I got you. Well, uh, I've never used a Blackboard, and I don't have to from uh, my college. I'm not sure. You said, is there one time I'm going to have to use Blackboard to? I would suggest you go down to the lab down here. Mm -hmm. Do, the, do your thing, go to Blackboard, you know, when you go to your TCCC, go to Blackboard, hit the My Labs Plus link, okay. get over in My Labs Plus, hit the shield up there, right click, allow, whatever, and then get it done, and then from there on, you can go to the TCTC website. Okay, so that will give, like, permissions to... Yeah, the that basically, when you go from Blackboard to My Labs Plus, that first initial time, you are saying... You are going through the permission thing. That's what you're doing. After that, you can log in through Blackboard, or you can go to the TCTC My Labs Plus website. It's easier to go to the website, but you have to go through that initial routine yeah. before you do it. So I would suggest the easiest way to do that is to go to a computer lab easily, Pendleton, go to the computer lab. That way you'll have somebody there that can tell you what to do with the right click and the shield and all that. Go ahead and get that over with. And then you can do it at home with your home computer going strictly to the website. Okay? You'll have less trouble. Any other questions? Is Blackboard like Canvas? Yeah, pretty much. Each each college has its own. Some people actually just use My Labs Plus. It's a, it's a weird concept. That way you don't have to double the work. Yeah. This is no joke. I actually had somebody tell me that I needed to put the syllabus on Blackboard, and then I needed to put it on My Labs Plus. I said, hell no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and they said, why not? Why wouldn't you do that? Because it's double the what? It's where? double the work. Where are you going to be? You're going to be on My Labs Plus. That's where I'm going to put the syllabus. Anyway. I, I'm, 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 I'm very anti-busy work, okay? Some of y'all don't know what busy work is. Some of you do know. All right, who's got another question? Do we need to buy the textbook, or can we use the electronic version? I'm looking. Who's at, who asked that? Sophie. Sophie. Oh, I'm sorry. You're, you're bored. <laughs> okay, the textbook, I don't tell. You bring whatever you want to to class, and that's a good question because some people have to go buy it. You can buy it. I don't care. You can go to the uh, course right here. You can hit e-text. And I don't know why it's not working right now. For some reason, I think it'll work on your I think it'll work on your home computer a whole lot better. But like I say, this is the first semester. This is our first semester that we're using the e-book. Let me go through chapter contents. Okay, let's pull up 1.3 and pull up the ebook. Interactive ebook. Yes, it should. Okay, it pulls it down here, and you have to pull up the little. Okay, then you have to click on whatever. Okay, there, and then you can print it out up here. Somewhere up here, you can, should be able to print it out. Right now, I'm so unfamiliar with this. There it is, print. And it can print out whatever. Okay? So if okay. you find that out, and I'm going to have to work with y'all on that because I don't know if you can open up all. Okay, you can open up all of these at one time. Yeah, you can open up all of them and you can print them out. And these interactives, 
who work also the Wolfram Interactives. We're going to be using that. We're going to be using that a whole lot when we get into finding the tangent and the secant. We're going to get into that. So, but yes, you can you can print out and bring to class, or you can just read it off your laptop. I do ask that you be professional with your laptop. Don't be pulling it. Don't be having earplugs in and thinking that I'm a big idiot and thinking that you're not watching TV or movies with earplugs in. That's just downright disrespectful. Okay. Who else has got a question? Our exam's time. Yeah, you get an hour and a half. And they're, you take them they're scheduled during... for an hour, but I give you an hour and a half. That way, anybody that needs extra time already has it because they're they're designed for 50 minutes. So technically, I'm giving you an extra 40 minutes to take it. Is there like a proper a minute side or something? No. Nope. You take it at home? Okay. I was you gonna basically that was take it at home. Good. So how do you okay. like, like, there's no, like, cheating or anything? People are going to cheat just like people are going to steal. So, listen, I've had to, listen, I think, you know, the people that cheat, usually either they're not listening in class or the teacher's not teaching the material. Okay? I'm very confident that I teach the material. Of course, I'm going to have 10% deadheads in every class. All right? The deadhead factor goes down the more calculus as I teach. Calc 1, I'm going to have more deadheads than in Calc 2. Calc 3, I'm going to have less deadheads than in Calc 2. All right? So when you're teaching calculus 1, 2, and 3, you're not really worried too much about and especially in the summer, you're not really worried about it. And, yes, you may have that one person that, that has somebody take the test for them, they're going to suck anyway when they get in the real world. They're not going to know how to do anything. So they're going to end up, you know, it's not going to be any hair off my back. That's fair. You see what I'm saying? That's fair. Yep. And you can find those people. The people that cheated in calculus are the people that's always wanting you to do their work for them when you get into the real world. Those are the people that can't do anything. Like when they get into their job, they can't spell mom backwards. Anybody got another question? <laughs> Nobody's got any other questions? Are we limited to how many times we can do the Skype in thing if I wanted to do it for the days well, I work? Well, with your, Miss, Miss Wilson, with your predicament being work, you, you can do, you know, I, I do ask that people, um, you know, most people that are here today can make it. Um, mm -hmm. Your situation being that you cannot leave work, I'll be glad to work with you on that. The rest okay. of you, I wish you would use it for, you know, emergencies. You know, I can come on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, just not See, Mondays that's, and that's Thursdays. Good. And you can go, you can go to the Easley campus, or you can go to the Pendleton campus, or you can come to the Anderson campus. Whichever one's closest for you. Okay. okay? And okay. who else has got a question about that? Let me ask. Let me talk to you one more thing. When's the class over? Somebody tell me. 425. For what? 425. Okay, because some of y'all go into convulsions, and I don't want you going to. Y'all go into convulsions, because that just pisses me off, okay? So don't do that, all right? Um, I'm, I'm pretty lenient. I've had students I've had students Skype in from the forward place while they were getting their car serviced. I've had students Skype in from, you know, BFE, you know, while they were on vacation. You know, I don't have any problem with students Skyping in, all right? I do ask that you be courteous. If you have a situation that arises, like let's say uh, Mr. Swords works at Blah 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 Incorporated and he has to shift from second shift to first shift, well, that is something that he needs to discuss with me. He can do like Miss Wilson, Skype in or whatever, or just use the YouTube or just use the videos. Just communicate with me no matter what. That is a bonus question. What do you do if something comes up in the middle of the semester? Wait until, no, one of, one of, one of our students wait until after grade turn in to tell me that they went on a vacation. Listen, you know who I'm talking about. You know the students that I'm talking about. All these bonus questions that I'm giving you, they come from DA students. Okay, most of them. 
They come from the students, you know, that ask DA questions at the end of the semester like, uh, I went on vacation and I missed the third test. Will that affect my grade? <laughs> <laughs> Did I answer? No, I just turned around and walked off. I'm not going to answer a question like that. What do you get if you don't take a test? Zero. 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 What does a zero do to your grade? Drops it. It drops it. Read the syllabus and it will tell you how much it drops it. 20%. Because 20% is each one of your test grades. Okay, who has another question? What if you're going on vacation? Summer. What if you're going on vacation? As long as you do the work, you what? You're good. I'm not... Okay, let me, let me end class with this. I do not drop anyone unless I'm what? Unless I'm told to. Does everybody understand that? Mm -hmm. Who tells me to drop you? Your parents? Your significant other? Your family? Tri-County Tech? Financial aid? My department head? Why do I not drop students? Because as soon as I drop you, what are you going to do? You're going to show back up, and then I have to fill out what? Paperwork. And that's busy work, and I don't do busy work. So, if you if you quit coming to class and you quit turning in, what am I going to put in for your grades? Zeros, and you're going to get an F. I'm not going to drop you. So I'm not going to drop you if you don't show up for class. I'm not going to drop you. This is college. Even though I have administrators trying to get me to take you all to the bathroom, and, you know, escort y'all down to the bathroom and escort y'all down to get water and tell you when you should have your test and tell you when you should. I'm not going to do it because you are Calculus One students. You are college students. I should not have to tell you that. And I should not tell you, well, uh, Mr. Smith, uh, you missed a day and you only got like three days left, so you need to be careful because I'm going to drop you. Out. I'm not going to do it. You don't come to class, you don't get the grades, and if you don't get the grades, but if you can do the work outside of class, knock yourself out. Because I want people in class that want to what? That want to be in class, that want to work and be in class. If you don't, if you don't like me, I care less. If you don't want to be in my class, that's fine. Stay at home. Do the work at home. Okay? Because... All that's going to do is make the classroom uncomfortable. Okay? Mr. Swords, one word to describe my class. Wow. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know one word, but... Well, for several words. If you need to put words together, just quickly. <laughs> Hurry the hell up. <laughs> It's a laid-back class, and, and you'll work with us if we work with you. Exactly. Okay, now we're going to try to do this now. Mr. Barnes. <laughs> okay, now be quiet because he don't say very much. A couple of words to describe my class. What do you say? Straightforward. Straightforward. Pretty much. Nobody said unfair. Nobody said that I'm going to beat you up. Nobody said that I'm going to kick you while you're down. I'm not that way. Now, I do come across kind of, I don't know how you would say the first day. I come across, I just don't want to put up with no bull crap. And I don't think I'm going to have to in a calculus summer class. I don't think I'm going to have to. But when you do this every day, you know, you, you, have, to t you have to put that out there so that students know that you're not going to put up with a bunch of crap. Okay. Did anybody else have another question? Are you the only teacher of like all of the sections? Uh, no, there's other teachers teaching. I don't know who's teaching. I don't know if there's any other. Is there any other 140s this semester? Anybody know? Hey, can we just look him up real quick? I'm writing my professor. Real quick. No, I'm not going to do that. He's a colleague. He, I'm not going to do that. He's, he's in my department. We'll look him up. Oh my goodness. I'm really kidding. Yeah. We'll look him up just to have fun. I don't, there it is. Write my professor. Because I honestly, he is fairly new. I've never looked him up. So I don't know what it, I have no idea 
what it's going to say. I just I go to meetings and he's in the meetings. That's all I know. Let's see. Who are all professors? Thirty-one ratings. He's got three point one. That's not bad. Should be like a one. What? I said it should be like a one. I dropped out of his class. <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? I don't know. Raise your hand. Okay, just tell me this. Why? Why? Why was your biggest reason for dropping out of the class? Um, he would get off topic really easily, and some. If you had a question, he would explain it the exact same way that he said it before. And then if you asked him to explain it a different way, he would tell you that he doesn't have a different way that he's going to explain it. So it's just really hard to communicate with him. Communication. Would you say communication? Yes. It's well, awful. I'm not going to say I'm perfect, but I do my job very well. And I've been told I do my job very well. So you should verify that. Or no, I'm not going to look it up. No, hell no. It really isn't bad. All right. Does anybody have any other questions? It says Andrew is very smart. Okay. Uh, he presented the information clearly. Very clear lecture. Very stern. Okay, and other things. Okay, so there's some of them. Is that okay? We'll just uh, leave that one alone. <laughs> we'll just let's look at a few more just in case. <laughs> okay. I can tell you this. Calculus is thirty percent new material. Thirty percent new material. Calculus is seventy percent material that you already know. Okay? Now the way to get you to pass this class is for you to understand that before we even get started. And I will tell you, by the time you get out of this class, if you do what I tell you, especially with those first three sections of homework, if you do what I tell you, you're going to say, oh my God, this is so simple. And it is. Calculus is not hard. Calculus is very simple. But 80% of the calculus problems that you're going to do is algebra. And that's where you're going to suck. And you're going to be going, oh my God, we got to do this. And then you're going to go, I forgot how to do this. And that's what happens. So, all right. If you got questions for me, stay after class. I want to get, let me, let me check to make sure that I'd like to get the, uh, I would like to pull up the, uh, the attendance, but I don't know if I can pull it up. Let me try it again. Maybe the Russians have it busted in. So attendance doesn't affect our grade, does it? What? Attendance doesn't affect our grade. No, I don't. I take it. The reason I take it is because what? I have to. No. It says no assertions are found, so I don't know what the heck that means. You have to clear the browser's cache. That's a new, that's a new thing with Banner. Yay. So go under history, go you under can, settings. You can do it. There's a shortcut to it. What are you using, Chrome? Yeah, I guess. What do I need to do? Um, let me take a look at this keyboard. I gotta remember it. It's like it's like a Control Shift Delete. Control while you're, shift. While you're in the browser. <laughs> Thanks for telling me there, bright one. <laughs> Control Shift Delete. Control Shift Delete. Well, that's yeah. where I was. Then, no, clear browsing data for the past. You can do it for the past hour, either way. Okay, now I can go and pull it up. Yep, try again. Mr. Swords, you're not a loser. Thanks. Well, let's wait and see if it works. <laughs> you're still going to fail this class, but you're not a loser. <laughs> All right, here we go. go. We're cooking with peanut O-I-L now. I don't pronounce the word O-I-L because there's always some smart ass in a group that says, you didn't pronounce it right. <laughs> so I don't pronounce it. I just spell it.